90.1. Got the CrossFit Open workout of 10 rounds of 8 power snatches and 10 varsity bar facing burpees. So here we go. So from the from doing the workout on, on Saturday, so two days ago, it's currently Monday at like 11.30 p.m. <laughs> I finished the world and I'm in absolute rags, but I'll run everyone through the workout. So coming into this workout, I watched a lot of videos on YouTube and majority of the time it was just me thinking about pacing the workout more. I obviously went into the Saturday work, um, into, into Saturday just like um, not having a clue what to do. So I was like last minute, I was like, I'm going to do 75 seconds around. Even thinking into it, I was thinking of doing one minute rounds. Obviously I got, I was a bit faster than 75 seconds per round and on average for every round of completing the whole workout in 11 minutes and 18 seconds, that's, I think that's an average of 67 seconds, I think. Yeah, I was 67 last 76. It must be 67. Yeah, 67.4 seconds. And my average split on this workout this time round, I don't know. <laughs> All I know is I got 10 minutes 25. So I think that's at least one minute, one minute and two seconds. Yeah, one minute, two seconds, and obviously, I had a few occasions where I hit the bar twice. I'm not going to be a dickhead and just go, oh, yeah, I didn't touch the bar. And imagine if you're in a comp, you're not going to say to the judge that I didn't touch the bar because you're going to do that. Yeah, you're going to argue, and then you're just going to miss out on the amount of reps you could have done the whole workout. So you treat your training like you're going to treat your competition. Don't be a dickhead. Um, this is the first round, and if I'm going to, I'm going to be honest with this. The second time round, it was a lot more not comfortable, but more of a I was gonna. I know what kind of pain I was gonna be in, so I kind of realized the threshold I was gonna be in from like at least like for this time it was round five or six. I felt it, whereas last time it was legit round four. And what I changed my barbell cycle compared to last time because my barbell cycle last time was pretty shit. If I'm being honest, I was jumping around like a frog, like similar to this. But last time I was really jumping in the air. Like for my barbell cycle this time. Um, I try to keep my feet on the floor because when I do snatch off, I'm obviously not the best barbell cycler. I kind of get away with it with being fit. Um, keep my feet on the ground so I'm not wasting energy. Because obviously if I'm jumping off the floor, I'm wasting energy because I don't need to jump off the floor. I'm moving the barbell, not my body. So that kind of allowed me to keep my heart rate lower so I wasn't jumping everywhere. You see in round 9 and 10 I start jumping everywhere but that's kind of like... Um, me obviously just zoning out and just trying to get the barbell from the ground to overhead as it simply says in the workout um, this is round three currently yeah this is round three right no that's this is round four damn I was out like a fucking horse and that's pretty fast to be honest somehow not top 55 seconds of the previous workout um, looking into this what I, I was happy I was gonna be happy with um minute five rat arms so that would have put me at 10 i don't know i had it written down written down but if you want to do the quick maths it was i was trying to average so this is where i hit the bar and then i hit it again i was like shit so i had to go i had to do three fast ones like i said in the last video this is me this is my fast burpees where my left foot kind of scoops up and i'm straight up to a burpee and this is as slow as you can tell step up take my time to jump up and obviously um this this time around i didn't change my um footwork of burpees except from that, that um kind of round just there where i kind of fucked up on the burpees everything else was right foot right foot right foot and i felt like i was actually going a bit more conservative on these burpees because i knew that i should have i should and i can hold them to the barbell a lot longer compared to the last time because last time I was, yeah, as I was saying, I was being a little bitch and kind of bottling it for my fitness level. Like, if you want to really push on this um, workout, you're going to have to go and broken on the barbell and not stop for a rest or break. And obviously that just adds up time. And burpees. Thankfully, I love today and same as last time. Um, everyone in the gym pushing each other again. A lot of PBs today. And um, that's 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 good. And like, if you didn't PB, don't worry. You got another four weeks to do. It. You got another four weeks of the open. And don't don't just think of this as the open. Think of this as after the open. Still building that community in any CrossFit gym, wherever you are, wherever you're listening from. 
and everyone should still push each other even if it's not the open because at the end of the day it's just testing your fitness and we should we should be doing this every day yeah i was pretty hyped because um i legit didn't even know what score i was on like time i look over but my eyes i was uh, my eyes was pretty shit uh pretty bad so i couldn't really see the score so even though i am looking up i only look up quickly because if i can't see i'm not going to stand there and stare at the time I just gonna see I got very jumpy. I'm trying to tell um, Tom to clip the bar back on. But he was zoning out, stretching his lats off, his big almost invisible lats. Solid bro piece. Oh, that's like a long string being arm. My arms are so long. I'm like a I'm like a bloody chimpanzee swinging around in a tree. Uh, representing the nanos. I think I'm gonna get a neck on for the next one. The fives are aimed up. Yeah, it was a good vibe today at the gym. Loved it. Everyone redoing the workout. And if you didn't PB, don't worry. Not everyone PBs. The first time I ever redid a workout was strength and depth in qualifier. Uh, number one for the for the group of 16. And I got four, 30 or 40 seconds slow, so I don't think anyone's gonna do that. They're gonna get near. I'm starting to jump on the snatches now. I was feeling the music, good music, and I was gassed. <laughs> gassed in mentally as in good, and gassed as in kind of fucked from the workout. So a bit of both is good. Look at good old Phil. Getting shredded traps, mate. Imagine being 50 and having shredded traps like that. Hey, 30 years time, I'm best to have some shredded traps like him, mate. Yeah, in the world, I was like kind of asking Sam, who was the guy who was judging me, um, not around around, but um, obviously I forget how hard it is and judging, like counting reps and whilst and trying to answer a question what the the, the athlete's trying to ask him. So I just gave up. It was good that he didn't tell me the round I was on because he would have played with my head again, to be honest. Because <laughs> like, even if you said um, what round I'm on, I would have still kind of pushed it. So it's not, there's no point really knowing what round you're on. You just got to fully send it on the last round. I feel like the bar, my barbell cycling on this attempt number two is a lot better compared to last time as well. Like last time I was breaking a lot, chalking up, and that's where a lot of my time was like accumulated, like as far as um, decreasing my time for the 10 round. Um, last time I had chalk next to me, this time I was like, I'm not having any chalk near me. Um, that's a big positive because last time I must have spent like 20 seconds chalking up. Imagine 20 seconds. On every on, the, on every word you ever do, like just wasting time choking up. Obviously, for gymnastic workouts, it's not the same. But for this instance, you're doing burpees and you're barbell cycling, pretty light to moderate weight for some people. You just got to kind of like send it to the max. seconds so if I'm kind of behind I'm sorry because I messed with my laptop the peas were absolutely brutal this time around my um calves weren't as fatigued as last compared to the first time um because I wasn't jumping around like a stupid frog on every single snatch and I was a bit more conservative on my burpees um, I feel like I was moving a lot smoother, obviously not having to think about changing foot. Like I did say in the previous video, we'll try changing it, or, but sometimes you just don't have to. This is the last round, final round, everyone's screaming at me. Lovely vibes, lovely, lovely, lovely vibes. Two, I dropped it here. I don't even know. Like that's, that's like you make a break, like I, I need to stop doing that and just suck it up. Because that probably would have saved me like four seconds. In all honesty, oh, sorry, three to four seconds. I'm like currently, lead, I'm looking at the leaderboard. I think that's that would put me like in all four places as far as strength and depth qualifier, as far as they open like a few places more. Final sprint, blast that, empty that tank, release all the gasolina, and just go. 
this is the moment where you just zone out to the song, you just sprinting and sprinting. Everything everything just your body's just pumping through with blood and you can't even you can't feel anything, legit. You just go in, you just go in. One more rep back over. This time I actually camp- captured the pain cave pile. I was like, I've just, I don't even know. That was like a crazy dive. My leg, it was my, most of my legs at this point. I couldn't, I couldn't find a comfortable position. And then I was trying to breathe. Like, I couldn't get a, my legs were just in so much agony and pain. I just couldn't find a comfortable position. But thankfully, I did a 50 second, 55 second PB. Which meant. I got 9 minutes 25, it's nice and it's pretty good, I'm happy about that. On to the next week, obviously this is probably going to be my best, my best workout so far of the Open because the majority of the time the first workout is a lot of engine stuff and I'm uh, going to be moderately happy for the next workout because if this answer works, I'm fucked. But all in well, I'm going to enjoy it no matter what, try and push. And that's it.